Morning to you both. Morning. Uh, so, how, so tell me, how did this all start? Well, um, a few years ago, when I bought my Christmas meals mm -hmm. um, for Christmas Day, I'd spend around about £500. I mean, it was like putting a quilt in a washing machine. You couldn't even shut my fridge. Yes. But I was catering for everybody mm -hmm. and overspent, really. Um, cost of living's gone up quite horrendously yeah. over the years. Mm. And it just came to the point where the family grew and I was getting more and more grandchildren and I'd have my son and my daughters round as well and their partners and it was just too much. Mm -hmm. And I think they understood that. We all sat down and we discussed it and they were happy, you know, to come to my house and uh, me cook it all. Um, my daughter does the best roasties, so I leave her to do that. Yeah, she, um, she cooks the roasties? Yeah. Does she not get a discount? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> not, no mates. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you've got, you're a care worker and you're a mum of three, a grandma to four, and uh, and so this is all arranged with the family and in fact months ago you'd already sat down with your daughter to plan it all out yes yeah. what did they get for their 30 pounds oh well we have a um, start of the choice you know the traditional prawn cocktail but we can put salmon in that because if you go if you go out for Sunday lunch, you're talking of your Christmas dinner you're talking of 70 pounds a head yeah. plus mm -hmm. you know by the time you finish that having small grandchildren from two to 12, taking the time in between each meal, it just gets too much, they've had enough. But for us to sit down and plan the Christmas dinner and what we want, plus the drinks, because it's not like they come round for the um, Christmas dinner and they leave at a certain time. They stay till yeah, yeah, 10, yeah. 11 o'clock. So the so food that we included. have, yeah, that's all included in that, to what they want. You know, it's, it's about planning so it. So it's a family everything. planning thing. Yeah. Uh, so, Vanessa, do you think, I know you, you're, you're quite against this, but in my house, you know, someone might get, my father-in-law will always buy the meat, that's yeah. his thing, and, you know, my mum might bring the drink or dessert. Isn't it just the same thing? The truth is, I'm not really against it, I'm just jealous. I think she's amazing. <laughs> I think she's so brave to say, right, 30 quid a head, nearest to this, I think it's brilliant. The problem is, I'm not enough a good enough cook to charge. I think if I, <laughs> if I said you've got to pay to eat my food, they'd say you should pay us. I mean, you've got to be pretty confident that you're providing delicious food and you obviously do they obviously love your cuisine to the extent but my kids say that when they hear a microwave ping in the future they'll say ah <laughs> oh, just like mummy used to make i'm not an, a good enough cook to charge my kids to eat the it thing is i think i think it's fair to say when we heard this story mm -hmm. yesterday we all thought oh, oh hold on a yeah minute, hang on that's and the more we've read about it yeah. the more we've met you exactly. we've all thought do you know what this is such a good idea. So. Yeah, because well. people do find it tough at Christmas. It is expensive. And, and, and we're the same as you. Mm -hmm. My mum always pays for all the Christmas meat. That's mm -hmm. her thing. Yeah. My brother-in-law always brings the cheese. Yeah. My other brother-in-law always brings the sherry. My uh, mother-in-law, she brings the vegetables. Exactly. It's the same sort of yeah, thing. Everyone, everyone just do a course. In, don't they? Everyone bring a course. Mm -hmm. Someone do the dessert. Also, there's always some these days. There's a vegetarian. There's a vegan. There's always someone who won't eat what you're yeah. cooking and wants something specific. And different and all of that. So, I mean, I think this is actually the most incredible thing. It sounds a bit a bit strict it and does. a little bit demanding, but when you think about it, it's only really a compromise. But the isn't whole it? family are in on it. Everyone thinks it's a great idea. Exactly. And we've been saying for ages on here, don't if you can't afford a Christmas presents, yes. it's so expensive, give vouchers yeah. and I'll come mm, and do your mm, lawn on. Exactly. I mean, this is a similar sort of thing. Yes. So have you done the restaurant? Did you think, right, okay, well, you know, let, we tried this and this is great, it works for us. We'll we'll go to a restaurant instead. Well, I intend to do a lot of the washing up and, you know, and be the host. Mm -hmm. So that's what I give back, you know, as a mum and a grandma and a mother-in-law. But my son-in-law said something to me the other day. He says it's a small price to pay to have the family around. It's nice, oh, you know. Say. And yeah. and that was my son-in-law. Yeah. Mm. But the, we have gone out. We've gone out for the Christmas dinner, and it was just. It wasn't the restaurant, the food was lovely, mm -hmm. but it was just too much for the children. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and also my daughter couldn't relax. You know, the, the baby wanted to be out of, the, out of the high chair and back in the high they chair. They playing with the toys they yeah. opened that morning. You know, because they opened the toys at my house separately as well. Mm -hmm. So we make it a massive family gathering. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do see him a lot, but I don't see my son as much. Mm -hmm. You know, so he comes down for Christmas and it's nice. We're all together. We're getting what we want. You know, it's not a selfish thing to do. Mm -hmm. And 
And the thing I is, I think as a child, when people know? hear the story, they imagine that you know, so you finish your meal and leave the money on the table. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's all, it's all pre-planned, yeah. previewed before. Yeah. Well, you've got imagine one child <laughs> saying, "I can't yeah. afford it." You say, "Right, you wait outside in the car. We'll send you out a turkey." Or you sandwich. just get but a start. Like but I do, I do just want to say one thing: that the pressure, as you quite rightly say, to put on a really unbelievable Christmas dinner mm -hmm. with all the trimmings and a groaning table and more drink that you can drink and every chocolate assortment that you can get. I mean, it's a huge pressure for everybody and I would like to say I know nobody ever listens to this but I do think it's right advice you don't have to make all of that if you can't afford it you know you can do like a magnificent let's say fabulous shepherd's pie really mm. delicious or mm. a really great you know actual pie lovely sort of chicken and mushroom pie or something that's cheaper and warm and delicious and filling and, 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 and do as Hayley says don't you, you think so yeah you see together. we don't mm. have just the meats and the vegetables I've got grandchildren and myself I don't eat veg you know, I like it raw. I like mm. it in a salad. Yeah. Mm. So when I it, when we booked out to go for our Christmas meal, I just felt it was a waste of money because I just wasted. It wasn't it. what you wanted. Well, we want to yeah. we want to help you out a little bit. We think you're amazing. We, we think do. your family plan yeah. is fantastic. Yes. And so we've got a big hamper for you. And oh, in that oh, hamper, oh. Uh, you've got a bottle of champagne, mulled wine, brandy, Christmas cakes, Christmas nuts, shortbread, smoked salmon, jams, chutney, chocolate boxes, white wine, and advent calendar, and a selection of tri cheeses. Yes. And we've also got you a Christmas tree as well. Oh, thank so you. They, that's, very uh, well. All courtesy of this morning, um, and uh, and have a lovely Christmas. And Thank it's you really very lovely much. To meet you, Thank, Thank you. You're so welcome. Thanks,